Welcome everyone to Cinema Spotlight. Diving into Ava DuVernay's career, we will be talking about 13th. 13th is about the 13th Amendment that abolished slavery that was passed by Congress back in 1865. The problem is, is that there is a clause, a loophole that states that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as punishment for a crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. 13th shows us what this loophole has caused over the course of more than a century and a half. The documentary starts us off with a huge realization. The United States of America is 5% of the world's population, but 25 of the world's prisoners. To understand why, we take a deep dive into how this was even possible in the first place. The amendment abolished slavery, which ended a booming southern economy, and with no options left but the loophole, this was immediately put into effect, starting the prison boom. You really have no choice but to take a real hard look at the nation's history of racial inequality, understand where it all stemmed from, what evolved into throughout the century, and realize where it ended up today. I had always known that President Lincoln signed the 13th Amendment, and while it had a long and difficult road to get where it is, doesn't change the fact that it changed everything. While deemed as the best, it quickly became the worst. Throughout the film, we watched the progression of racial inequality between films that inspired the thought process that placed black males in this animalistic and menacing limelight, to even presidents that had their hand in making this even worse. Crime had a face, and it was within the race we so desperately feared. When the president's names were constructively criticized throughout the timeline, some did not come to me as a big shock. Nixon for one. Because when you hear Nixon's name, you can pretty much see that that was no surprise here. His stance on crime would only show him off to be a two-faced layer down the road, but when Reagan shows up in the timeline, this is where I kind of flip things on its head. I, I mean, going on what I knew, which wasn't very much, I found myself challenged. Now, this isn't my personal opinion, but when Ronald Reagan, a man I always thought was seen as one of the great presidents, didn't do so well in this war on crime that Nixon started, this makes things a little bit more difficult. Honestly, Difficult doesn't even begin to describe the next events that are highlighted in this documentary. The information presented to you here provides small intermission excerpts of music that elevate the emotion and segue into the next topic that presents the next wave of struggles, disenfranchisement, and suppression. It really holds your attention, keeping you locked and engaged with interviewees that are well-versed and articulate. To learn how corporations and businesses earn money from said prison industrial complexes, to watch our incarceration rate grow from roughly 300,000 in 1973 to 2.3 million today, and to see how a lot of racism, gaslighting, misconception, suppression, invalidation, prejudice is executed even today, it's maddening. Here's the deal. Everyone that hasn't seen this documentary needs to set aside some time and do so. Everything mentioned is only the tip of the iceberg, and this is one of those documentaries that cannot be missed. It creates and amplifies awareness on things you didn't know. It starts an argument, hammers it in in an emotional way, and it hits you with the facts. It doesn't have a solution but it allows you to feel like there's one that can be made. The fact remains, this is a great documentary. Ava has consistently surprised me in the course of her filmography. Between actually making films that have true emotion behind the story, characters that are human, and a craft to telling the story, she has truly become one of my favorite filmmakers of this last decade. This film is Ava's Ninth Symphony. There is something to be said at the end of this, and I 100% agree. It's because we have the power of technology. We have the power of cell phones, 
devices that record. We can view it anywhere in the world, and this forces a discussion. This makes us unable to ignore the real problems we faced out there. And all I can say to the subject matter in this documentary is that it's heavy. It pushes everything that you know and challenges it. It's on Netflix. It's 20 minutes shy of two hours and not a minute wasted. And oh, if you want to, you can check it out on YouTube. If you don't have Netflix, it's easily accessible. And when it comes to documentaries, I will be honest with you, I don't usually watch them. And, and mostly because it's not my cup of tea. They don't pique my interest, but this one definitely did from the get-go. The fact of the matter is, see it. It's important that you do. All right, thank you all so much for watching. If you've seen 13th, please let me know in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell so you don't miss another video. With all that said, I hope you all have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time.